so this experiment that we have here uh, where we are studying um, heat gain or building heat transfer through different roof forms here the setup that we have is an indoor setup uh, specifically designed for instances where we are not having exposure to direct sunlight uh, or an open rooftop so the objective of this um, experiment is to study the heat gain um, across these different roof forms and which one will give us the best uh, heat gain output or least heat gain in terms of a building and this will help students to develop a visual understanding of how different roof forms play a pivotal role in um, determining how much heat enters the building through the roof so here um, apart from the the things that are part of the kit we need to have a, a few different items to be able to perform this experiment the first thing that we have here it is the halogen tube it's a 500 watt halogen tube it will be acting as a heat source here and that's why we are having this halogen tube of so uh, such high wattage uh, once we start this this will start simulating the sun's rays here on on this uh, box uh, also we have just introduced all these roof forms and the box so we will only require one box here uh, and we'll uh, play with different roofs for in this one box apart from the halogen tube we will require a lab thermometer this is a lab thermometer uh, to, for to take readings uh, this will be helpful in taking the re readings and there is a temperature gun this is again going to be helpful in taking the readings so this is the box that we have just shown and this is the plain roof form what i'm doing is i'm placing it inside the box like this and i'm also locking it so there is a lock provided on this if i just rotate it slightly it will lock it i'm placing it here to uh, such that the uh, my halogen tubes rays should directly hit uh, this uh, the roof and it should not be more more than 50 centimeter away from this so this distance approximately needs to be around 50 centimeter <clears throat> now coming to the next part as we have mentioned this is a thermometer there is a hole that you can see here this thermometer goes inside this hole and I have placed it here okay now I also have a timer set up in my mobile once I start the experiment I will require this timer here um, before starting this experiment actually so this is the setup um, this is what I will need to start the experiment to start the experiment I have this table prepared here um, and I will use this to note down my readings first what I'll do is I'll take this thermometer and I'll check what is the ambient temperature reading that it is showing me So currently it is showing me around 24 degrees Celsius. I'll just write down this. For flat roof, I have 24. That's my first part. Then I will insert this inside and once I have this setup ready, I will simultaneously start the timer and start the halogen tube. So this is here my timer has started and my halogen tube is also started. Now I will wait for one minute before taking the reading. Now what reading I am going to take? After a minute, I will remove this thermometer from inside and note the reading that I am getting on the thermometer 
and just put it back inside again. Similarly, I will use this temperature gun to note the surface temperature reading that I am getting for this um, for this roof after one minute. So I am just waiting for a minute to, to happen and I will keep on doing this uh, for five minutes. So that is going to be the, the length of my experiment for this one. Once I have my setup ready, I will do the experiment for five minutes with readings after every one minute each. So my one minute is up. I am removing the thermometer here and so it is showing me 25 degrees. I will put it back again. The surface temperature is 36.5. So this way So this is my in, in outside reading, this is my inside reading. So I'll keep on doing this for five minutes and we'll see after five minutes what uh, readings do we get here. So here we can see it's all, almost five minutes. I have just noted down all the readings that I've gotten for uh, each minute here. And here you can see the variation in outside and inside readings. Similarly, what I will do is I will change the roof form and do the whole uh, repeat the same procedure for each roof form and fill up this table. These readings will show me the comparison of these readings will show me which roof form um, has the best heat resisting capacity and that is uh, that can be used in a building. This is what this experiment is about. Hence in this experiment, once we do, um, do the whole experiment for each roof, we will come to know which roof form is the best for our building and which will help, uh, the, which will help act as a heat resistant barrier, um, as a roof form inside a building. Thank you for watching. We will move, we will meet in the next experiment.